five seconds. Mr. Deputy Speaker, Sir, a discussion on the budget presented by our youthful Honorable Prime Minister is in progress in the House. I rise to present some views and certain suggestions in support of it. 76% people in this country and particularly the rural people have welcomed the budget wholeheartedly. On the one hand, this budget would accelerate the pace of development, strengthening the economy and on the other, it is hoped that there will be far-reaching consequences for agriculture and industrial development. As my friends have pointed out that the aim of budget is not merely to present an estimate of income and expenditure. Instead, its aim is to point out as to what direction the economy would take in future, what percentage of people would be benefited, what are the priorities and so on. It is through the medium of budget that the government gets an opportunity to convey all such matters to the public. Among the priorities which have been fixed by the Honorable Prime Minister in the budget of 1987-88, rural development and poverty elimination programs have been given a special emphasis. The setting up of the National Labour Commission for improving the lifestyles and economic standards of the unorganized labor in our rural areas is due to his insight and imagination. It shows his concern for the poor and his socialistic way of thinking. According to an estimate of a national newspaper, about 20 crores of people fall in the category of agricultural labor and to whom the basic necessities of life, that is food, clothing and shelter are not available even today and they must get these facilities on a priority basis. I want to congratulate the Honorable Prime Minister for paying his attention to that section and for making special efforts to uplift them by setting up this commission. This work should be done properly, surveys should be conducted and proper direction should be given for implementing the various socio-economic programs in the rural areas. It would not be correct to think that we would achieve success by merely setting up a commission. Similarly, rupees 200 crores have been earmarked in the budget for poverty alleviation programs like IRDP, NREP, Two points are clear from this. The young educated people in the rural areas are going to get employment new. The integrated rural development program might help in this direction and in the sixth five-year plan and seventh five-year plan about two crores of people have been benefited under this program, which no one can deny. Rupees 310 crores have been allocated under IRDP, rupees 780 crores under NREP, and rupees 725 crores under RLEGP for the next year. 
it would enable 40 lakh people to get employment under IRDP, under NREP, more than 750 crores of Mondays will be created. It is in itself an ambitious project. I have seen the good results of it in the rural areas of my own constituency. The unemployed people in these areas have got employment. Agricultural laborers have got employment. When earlier people used to get work for three months or for six months in a year and earned only rupees four per day, nowadays they get employment more frequently and earn rupees 10 per day as wages. The earnings have increased. Secondly, an important proposal has been made in regard to the housing schemes and I would like to praise the Honorable Minister for it. Highest priority has been given to the housing schemes in both rural and urban areas for which I want to congratulate the Honorable Prime Minister on behalf of crores of people of this country. It has been lauded in all the national newspapers and in regional language newspapers as well. According to the seventh five-year plan document, by the end of 1990, about five crore families will require houses, about which it has been estimated that an investment of nearly rupees. 20,000 crores will be required. Keeping this in view and through coordinated efforts of the National Buildings Organization, Housing Development Finance Corporation and other nationalized housing banks, we should ensure that the benefits of the scheme reach the lower income groups in the districts and to those who want to build houses privately or through cooperative societies. Hence, it is a very good scheme and we would be successful in the construction sector in the future years. It would generate employment and the connected industries like steel, cement, energy, coal and power which form the country's infrastructure will also prosper. Therefore, the allocation of rupees 100 crores for National Housing Bank should be increased to rupees 1000 crores so that an ambitious project like this does not suffer. National Buildings Organization has developed some very good house plans but the designs are not easily available to the cooperative societies in the districts. Stop.